In 1964, around 10.30 p.m., 23-year-old Sarah Tolbert and her boyfriend, 33-year-old Calvin Jones, checked into a hotel room in Maine. Once they were inside their room, they began ordering alcohol, hoping to enjoy the night together. Around 1 a.m., neighboring rooms began to report that they heard a loud argument coming from Calvin and Sarah's room. Calvin was known to be abusive and had actually spent time in prison before, after he attempted to poison his ex-wife. It would turn out that the argument the neighbors were reporting was actually Calvin beating Sarah 15 times with a metal hose. This beating would lead to severe trauma to Sarah's face and head, and also a traumatic brain injury. Calvin would then take Sarah's unconscious body, load her inside his vehicle, and drive her to exit 57 where he dumped both the vehicle and her body. Police would discover Calvin's vehicle with Sarah's body inside it and soon track him down and arrest him for murder. However, following multiple autopsies of Sarah's body, police would actually drop the charge of murder against Calvin. This is because it would be learned that Calvin's beating actually played no role in Sarah's death, and Sarah actually would have died regardless if he beat her or not within a few hours. This was because Sarah was living with a rare disease called sickle cell anemia, which rather than having round red blood cells, you have abnormally shaped red blood cells which clot easier. Due to this discovery, Calvin was actually charged with assault and battery rather than murder. Calvin got to avoid the charge of murder because of Sarah's underlying medical condition. Do you think he still should have been charged with murder? Let me know in the comments below.